Hello guys, and today I'm going to try and fix a different fan heater this time. Now, it's going to be honest, be very careful with what you do here because this can be dangerous. People could theoretically die in doing this if you don't know what you're doing, okay? So, I'm going to plug this in. Now, I'm going to do this very, very quickly because it doesn't work. Alright? If I turn this on, it's making a terrible noise. And it's not turning unless I, unless I turn it upside down and it's starting to move not very well. Now, I'm going to switch it off now. I already knew, so I've actually fixed this before, but I've unfixed it and now I'm fixing it again, okay? I'm going to pull the mains out. Essentially, I do this because I'm going to open the whole thing up. Right, I'm going to show you what's inside. So, I have a screwdriver. I put the screw in very loosely. Now, I've got one of the screws out, do the other one, I said normally it would take longer than this, but I, there's the second screw, and now, I'm going to lift, I'm going to open it, be very careful, and this is the inside of a fan heater. Now originally, I'm going to take this off, originally, there's a little bit on the top here, which is put on there, which somehow broke off. And I'm going to show you how I fixed it last time, I'm going to fix it again, okay? Now I also cleaned inside this with a vacuum cleaner last time I know it doesn't look like I did but I did I did it as much as I dare and now I see here it's a little spindle okay as it says this went on the spindle now the thing is, is if this goes part the way up but not all if it goes partly up but not all the way down if it goes all the way down it scrapes and it can't turn around properly but if it's lifted up a bit then it will work now originally it was lifted up a bit because there was something on the top stopping it from going all the way down but that broke off so to compensate for it I'm going to use some sticky tape now last time I used real sticky tape but this time I'm going to use some electrical tape okay and partly because it's got a colour green on okay I'm going to chop this I'm going to chop some of this and now I've got a piece here. I think it also so that you can easily see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that around here. And now, I'm going to put, I push this on, so I just pushed it down a lot. So now, this will spin freely, okay? So now you can see it's not going all the way down because the sticky tape is stopping it going all, going all the way to the bottom and scraping. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to put the lid back on and see if it goes back on, okay? 
As I said, you have to make absolutely sure this is not plugged into mains when you're doing any of this, okay? So I basically pushed it in here. First, so it go, goes at the bottom first. It's difficult to do this for me. And I just push it back. Now, it's all clamped. I should put the screws in, but I'm not going to. I just want to check before I put the screws in, it's okay. So I'm now going to plug it back in. It's switched off. I'll make sure it's switched off. Look. And I'm even going to turn the thermostat down just in case. Okay. And now. I'm going to plug it in. And now I'm going to switch it on. Typical. Oh, that's why, yeah. I was a bit worried as to why it didn't work. I forgot that's my stupidity, okay? Now, um, I forgot you. I switched it on. But I forgot to turn the thermostat all the way up. So I was wondering why I thought it wasn't working. And now, honestly, it's turning round and spinning round. If I turn the thermostat down, You'll see in a moment the fan will stop. So that moment you can see inside because the fan has stopped, okay? But if I turn this knob a minute, it's on the fan so it won't burn my fingers, okay? Now because the fan's spinning around you can't see through it inside. If I turn it down again, you'll suddenly start to see wires inside, okay? And so if the fan starts spinning, <laughs> it's difficult to tell, but you just have to take my word for it. But there's a fan spinning in there. Maybe it's because of how it's filming it, but truthfully, there is a fan. You can probably hear the noise anyway. So you can tell the no from the noise anyway. So there you go. That's that fixed. Now, just for safety reasons, I'm going to unplug it before I put the screws in. There's no reason for this whatsoever, but I just prefer to have nothing plugged in when I'm doing anything, okay? So, now, I'll just hold it shut. And I'm going to put the screws in. Right, I'll do a better job later, but that's pretty much some of it I'm just doing off camera because it's just easier. But essentially, what I'm doing is putting the screws in. I've already put the screws in, but it's just you know difficult to sort of do it on camera, you know, because you're meant to like push the screwdriver down and I can do it but I, I've shown you anyway enough I mean you've probably seen the screws put in it's not that difficult so anyway that's that now it's not going to just suddenly come open it comes under slightly but not much but a bit more
Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to say that that's fixed now because if I plug it in. Just this is just a final check if you like. And I turn it like this, I do it so it's. Again, I've turned the thermostat down. And that's spinning, you can hear the noise. And so there you go, guys. That is how to fix a fan heater with some sticky tape, okay? And this is electrical tape. I believe this is green electrical tape, right? But it will do for the purposes of this, I think. I want to make this very clear. What I'm doing is not official. Um, I'm not giving you official professional advice. This is just what I've done. What I've done may be theoretically dangerous. I would suggest that you do not leave the um, fan heater unsupervised and just fall asleep with this kind of repair or something like that. But it is something that might mean if you've got a fan heater that stopped working, it may be a way of sort of fixing it, okay? Particularly if you've got this Philips type one, okay? This is a Philips brand, okay? So there you go, and I'm just going to show you if I can find it. The bit broke, but I might not be able to find it, okay? Mighty ho and uh, this is a bit which originally broke off which went on to the top of the spindle okay so in other words it went on to the top of the um, I don't know what you call the thing that actually has the you know the big circle thing that came off and this was on top of that so that to stop it going all the way down in other words to stop it going all the way down to the bottom of the spindle okay and I don't know what it's called, but it's the, fa the fan part of it, the actual top fan part, okay? I'm not going to put it again to show you, so just take my word for it, okay? That went on to the, the main circular thing, and then that, and then the spindle went on to the top, and this stopped it going further down the spindle. But because this broke, the fan part could go all the way down to the bottom of the spindle, which would stop it spinning. So that's why I put the um, tape on to try to jam it, so that when you put the spindle down, it only went so far down or somehow stopped it from going all the way down the bottom of the spindle, okay? And that's what the tape's for, okay? To compensate for the fact that this piece broke off the top. How? I don't know. It just broke somehow and it went into the, into the guts of it, okay? And I don't want to show you this going on the spindle, but this would normally go, go have gone on the spindle. So this would have gone at the top of the spindle. And if you took off the top part, a circular bit and just put the straight on this would have almost gone on to the you can see it's almost gone on the spindle itself but you can see it's clearly broken and there would this would be half of it there would have been another half somewhere it's broken and that would have gone on the spindle directly to, and then the circuit the main circular fan bit would have been below but as I said I wanted to fix it first to show you and then just show you this broken piece right rather than showing you how this broken piece fit on the others I, I know it would have made a better video but I wasn't sure I could find this quickly as I knew I'd left on the floor somewhere and um, you know it wasn't essential to knowing how to repair it okay so there you go I have now repaired um, a fan heater okay I'm not sure how long the repair will last to be absolutely honest with you but and now 
I'm going to hold it and I'm going to go into fan heater mode so I don't know if it's going to get start going red now but if I put it under two I have to be careful because I don't want I don't want to burn a screen or anything but um, I don't know if it's starting to glow or anything but it is now on fan heater mode and you can see it's all the way over Right, wait a minute, it switched itself off. It switched itself off because it once it reaches a certain temperature it switches itself off, you see. You'll just have to take my word for it. That is in fan heater mode. Where it will start heating up. And you can tell it because if I turn that down a bit, it will now switch itself off. Anyway. Um, that's how to fix a fan heater but I'm not sure I can't say that's officially how you should do it it may be potentially dangerous I don't want to get banned from YouTube for giving people dangerous advice but in an emergency um, that will fix it okay so there you go guys how to fix a fan heater or how I fix my fan heater at the very least okay um, professionals would just say just throw it away and buy another one because it could be dangerous but if you watch the thing and you you're awake and you you can switch it off easily quickly um, if it does start to make noise or whatever or it stops spinning rounds then it then that's basically um, that solved okay so thanks for watching guys bye